Hey everyone, so this is the tutorial video um, about how to use WeVideo from start to finish. Uh, please make sure that you check back uh, at any part of this video um, if you need to refresh on any steps in the process. Um, so we're going to begin with uh, first logging on and joining my group. Uh, so if you have used WeVideo before for any class at UCHS, actually even if you used it for middle school, you're going to log into WeVideo, clicking on this link, uh, using your VC credentials, so your Google sign-in. On the left sidebar, you'll click Apply Code and paste this code. So this code here um, should be applied to your sidebar. I can't show you this in real time because I already have a WeVideo account, so I can't replicate this exactly, but it should work just fine. Um, after you have applied the code, you're going to go to the bottom left of the dashboard and press join group slash class and paste this code. So um, if you are on the dashboard, it will show up kind of like this um, and you're going to press join group slash class. And this is where you're going to enter one of the codes. So for my period one um, folks, you're going to copy and paste this code. Uh, for my period eight folks, you're going to copy and paste this code. Um, and that is a capital I, I believe. Um, I'm fairly certain it's a capital I, a 1 VPAQ. If that doesn't work, um, try L. But if you're just copying and pasting, you should, you should be just fine. Um, if you've never had a WeVideo account before, this is your first time ever using it, um, all you have to do is click on, click on one of these links below uh, for whichever period you're in. Uh, this will take you directly, it will automatically sign you up um, and take you directly to my group. But please do not press this one if you have had a WeVideo account um, because I don't think it will work the same. So um, now we're going to get into the uh, creation of a project. Um, so this is pretty straightforward and this is why we're using WeVideo because I think it's a very um, straightforward tool. First, you're going to click the project tab on the top. Um, oh, sorry, <laughs> starting in the group. So right here, you're gonna click project, and then you, um, I, I don't have the feature right now, but you should have a little button um, that gives you the option to add a project or create a new project. Um, first, you're going to Title it, yeah, blue plus button in the bottom right hand corner. So first you're gonna title it, um, and for now you can just title it with uh, your name, um, and you can just say American Heritage Project, um, and then you can leave this blank for now because you might not be sure exactly what your project is going to be about. And then for this, you're going to select personal. You don't need collaborative or share because this is going to be just an individual student project, um, you know, student by student basis. So once you've done that, um, it will, you know, show up as a created project. And I'm just going into one of my projects to show you what that looks like. Um, so this is a project that I worked on a few weeks ago. Um, when I click on the project itself, it shows up here. Now, obviously, I've already done a lot of work here. I recorded a whole narration. I edit images. I cut things. Um, so mine's going to look a little bit different. Yours will just either have uh, stock media automatically selected. Um, this will all be blank at this moment in time. So after you do that, um, I'm going to walk you through the two major features that you need to know for this. Uh, first is recording sound. Um, so because this is a narration project, the idea is that you're telling the story through video. You will need to narrate your own video. Um, so this step should be done after you've complete, completely written out your script or narrative uh, story. So you have a few choices for this. You could use the We Video Record button. Um, honestly, the quality of this is just fine. Um, I have never had issues with students using this. It always turns out really well. Um, this is a great option to choose. So you can... All you have to do, there's two options here. You can either choose record or narrate. Um, so if I go to my view video, you can see up here. If I go to my media, you have the two options, either record or narrate. Um, so the difference between these two, if you just want to lay down all your audio tracks and just have them done, 
Um, I would just press the record button with the intent that you'll add your visual tracks after you've added your audio tracks. I personally think this might be easier, um, but if you're someone who likes to reverse work in the reverse order, if you want to lay down your visual, uh, your pictures and your visual tracks first, then you can do that and then press the narrate button. And then all you have would have to do is you just have to select where in the narration you want to begin your uh, recording. So for example, if I select here, I will start talking right at this moment in the video. So those are your two options for that. Um, if you want to record outside of Wii Video, there's a couple of options. There's Easy Voice Recorder app for Chromebook or Android phones, Voice Memos app for iPhones. Um, so if you prefer to use your phone for this, that's fine. Um, also, you may download the free Wii Video app. Um, and then you just sign in with your Bethlehem credentials. I think this is fairly user-friendly abbreviated version and that way you don't have to worry about importing your media. It's already there. Um, I think you can't do quite as much with the phone app, um, but it definitely is an option if you prefer to use your phone. So now we're going to transition over to the visual side of Wii Video. Um, so since you are telling a story, this is a digital story that you are portraying through visuals and through voice. Um, so we have that added element here. Um, you will be expected to, you know, I don't want to see just a, a blank screen with your voice over it. You need to have um, visuals and images that are well chosen and relevant to your, um, your topic and your, your story that you've, you've decided to tell. Um, so there's a lot of easy ways to do this. Uh, first of all, um, if you go to stock media, there's a ton of pre, pre-done um, images and, and stuff like that. So um, if I were to put in, so I know my ancestor, um, my great grandmother arrived in New York City in 1928. Uh, so <clears throat> If I were, you know, narrating her story, which she is who I'm going to be narrating, um, I would probably, you know, have something like this, like the Statue of Liberty, because that kind of reflects that experience and of her coming to America from Germany. Um, so all you have to do, very easy. Um, I'm just gonna. No, that's okay. <laughs> I already saved this video, so I can record over it. So all I have to do is click and drag. Um, so we video the way it's created. It's all click and drag, super user friendly. Oh, I think it's not letting me do that because I have to um, go ahead. Um, so anyway, you can go like that. I already have too much media here, um, but for the purposes of this demonstration video, that's all you have to do. You can see how long that is, um, and then you can then cut it and shorten it according to the length that you want. So um, there's videos, there's still images, um, there's a lot of different things to choose from. So the second option is my media. So if you have actual images and pictures um, from your uh, you know, ancestor or family members that you have decided to use for this, um, there, it's very easy in order to get them on here. Um, so the option is just my media. So you just go to my media, um, use the import button and upload from drive or your computer. So over here, you just press the import button. Um, on your Chromebooks and actually probably on a lot of your desktop, desktops, you should be able to just drag and drop. Um, I find <clears throat> dragging and dropping on Chromebooks a little bit difficult, but that's definitely an option. Or if you've already put the images into your Google Drive, um, you can just click on the drive button and it will come up with your drive and you can just click on the images that you want to include. Um, so that's it for adding your own media. Anytime you need to go back to your media, you just go to my media. Um, and then here are all photos that I found um, that I've just decided to include in my project. Um, <clears throat> so all I have to do is again, click and drag, uh, things show up. If, if it's green outline, that's mean, that means it's showing up properly. Um, and then you can, forever how long you want that image to show up, you can lengthen it or shorten it. Um, you know, if you want to transition to the next image, uh, however long you want it to show up is up to you. So a couple things about editing. I think Wii Video is very self-explanatory, um, but I'm going to walk through a few things for editing uh, just so you are aware. 
Um, so if you include a background track, um, oh, I forgot, that's also another option. So if you want to use uh, some background music, which would be nice, I think it's always nice to have background music um, when you're recording something. There's a bunch of stock tracks here, or you could upload your own music, maybe even something that you recorded, um, some music that fits with your story. And then you can just, again, you can just um, drag and drop. If you want to create a new track, which I would advise, um, you would do audio, um, audio two, add the track, and then you will drag and drop. So you can put this down here, um, and actually you can see it. This is the radio. So that's the way it was sound. I don't think I would choose that necessarily for my project, but that's how it shows up. Um, so that brings me to another thing here. You can lower or raise the volume of each individual track um, as you see fit. So if you have background music, obviously you're going to want that to be softer um, than your own narration, which I would assume would be audio one. Um, the other thing is if you um, uh, choose to record, I believe it will show up if you record your own track uh, just directly in video, it will show up as a video. Um, so in that case, audio one could be your background music. Um, and at any point, if you want to review what you've done, uh, let me go to a place where you can see this okay. Um, I'm going to lower this way down. You just go up to the preview screen, press play. I'm going to do And you can tell. So I would highly suggest doing this multiple times to make sure that your volume levels are appropriate um, so that you can hear what you're saying. If there is background music, it should be pretty low. Um, you just want it for ambiance and not for um, you know overtaking your entire narration, which is the point of this project. So um, a couple other things. I already showed you how you can lengthen <clears throat> or cut this. There's also another feature, um, transitions. And you can fade pictures. It's a cool feature. Uh, if you, for example, you put in cross blur. So when I put this in, it would um, it would fade. So you can see how that went. Um, so it just faded into my next image or the one that was in the background track. Um, so play with some of the features here. There's a lot of cool things you can do with this. Um, the only other thing I'm going to show you is to. Um, use the cutting feature to cut out any bloopers. Already showed you that, never mind. Um, I'm going to show you how to finish. So in order to finish the video, um, it's pretty straightforward. You just press this nice finish button up here. You want to select um, HD because the quality is just going to be better. Um, and you want to select Drive, which is where it's going to show up. And then um, to make sure that I can view it. Um, I'm just going to ask that you select this um, because I've had some issues with viewing students' projects in the past. Uh, so then you just press done, uh, export at the bottom. My screen is covering it, but you just press export at the bottom and then you should be able to just upload your video to the Google Classroom assignment and then you're done. Uh, so that is all. Please remember to rewatch any portion of this video at any time to make sure you know exactly what you're doing.